Now, rising Israel Hamas tensions in West Asia are playing out on the maritime front. The repercussions of the war have spilled over into the Red Sea. Since October last year, the Houthis have been attacking commercial vessels in the region. In the latest attack in the commercially vital waterway, Yemen backed Houthis have fired three missiles at two merchant ships in the Red Sea. It came after the rebel group vowed to keep up their attacks despite retaliatory strikes by US and the UK. The US claimed that one missile launched by the Houthis had missed its target, while the other two were shot down by an American Navy destroyer. Washington also confirmed that no injuries or damage were caused by the incident. Danish shipping giant Maersk says that two US subsidiary ships have turned back following the attacks. The two cargo vessels were escorted back to safety by the US Navy. And to discuss this further, we are being joined by Vice Admiral Shekhar Sinha from New Delhi. He is the trustee of India Foundation. He was formerly the Chief of Integrated Defence Staff. Vice Admiral Sinha, welcome to the broadcast here on Vion. Thank you and Namaskar to you and your viewers. Namaskar, sir. My first question to you is, where do you think the Houthis are getting its intelligence from, given that its attacks are so targeted? Uh, it's not very difficult because all vessels above the gross tonnage of 300 tons are required to carry an automatic identification system transmitter, AIS. That keeps transmitting. The range is about 15 to 20 miles. And that can be picked up by the shore stations if you have the receiver. Now, thereafter, what does it contain? It contains the IMO number, MMIS number, etc., etc., and if you dive deeper into that, you can get the port of departure, port of arrival, uh, whose flag is it flying, and who is the captain, and, and uh, what is the cargo. So it's not very difficult at all. Right. Uh, Vice Admiral, we know that the U.S. has unveiled a multinational naval force to protect merchant vessels in the Red Sea. India itself has a stationed two guided missile destroyers off the coast. What do you think India's role is in this, in this entire conflict that we see playing out? Quite a lot. Uh, you see, the um, point is that if everybody is in one place, then it is not the ideal usage of the combat platforms. Right now, only the two allies, which is the Royal Navy and the US Navy, they too are operating and they are capable of shooting down the missiles which are coming from the uh, f from Yemen, uh, whereas Indian Navy ships are just at the mouth of Gulf of Aden, and from there they ensure the safety of the cargo uh, for it to reach its destination carrying public goods. So safe and timely arrival is a big international responsibility and that is the Indian Navy's contribution to uh, you know make sure that the uh, sea is open to all, it is free and open navigation there are no coercion, there is nobody who is attacking and uh, people have right to freedom of navigation. Not necessarily only Indian flagships. They are doing it for every ship. It is Absolutely. our international commitment to protect the, uh, you know, to follow the UNCLOS. All right, Vice Admiral Sina, thank you so much for getting us those insights from New Delhi. Thank you so much.